Welcome back to Thursday Thoughts. I'm really excited about this week because we are going to be looking at what makes Eastwood Christian School different from any other number of schools in the area. Um, I think a lot of times uh, this is, comes from the idea that as Christians, uh, we think that Christian education is about teaching while doing Christian things. But really, the truth of Christianity means that that the truth of the gospel pervades everything we do, from uh, why we teach and why we learn to how we teach and how we learn. And, uh, you may be saying, well, that's all well and good, but what do, you, what do you mean by this? How does that make Eastwood Christian School different? So I'm going to start today by talking about some things that are not different from other schools, uh, things that most people look for in a Christian school. For instance, at Eastwood, we pray, we, we hire Christians, we teach Bible, uh, we put um, a high value on moral character. Uh, and these are great things to do. These are, these are excellent things to do, and we do them at Eastwood. But I could honestly say that there are dozens of other schools in the area who do these same things. And I'm not just talking about private schools, public schools as well. Um, I want to posit that, that the difference is uh, a much deeper difference. And it comes from the idea that we reject modern educational philosophy. What does that mean? Well, we feel that, that modern educational philosophy has its roots in some very unchristian beliefs. And we, we don't believe it's a better model. We think it actually ignores the truth of who God is and who we are. Again, how? Well, I'm going to give you one example today, and we'll talk about some, some more in the weeks to come. But uh, we're going to start today with the beginning. As Christians, we believe in the fall. Humans are fallen. We don't enter this world wanting good. We must be taught what is good, what is true, what is beautiful. And we find this to be true in Scripture and in, in reality. We must be shown the truth. And even then, we know that we can't choose good without the help of the Holy Spirit. And this is really the, the opposite of what every major educational institution is teaching today. Um, these educational institutions say that children are basically good. And, and that truth is, is personal. And, and we should just allow students to discover their own truths. And this idea is known as constructivism. Um, and it basically just says children are innately good and just need opportunities to discover their truth. Teachers in, in a lot of these schools are not going to be called teachers. They may be called lead learners um, in a community of learning. Um, they say that, um, that students teach themselves and, and the instructor should just uh, offer opportunities for students to discover the truth. But that's, that's not what we believe. You may be saying, well, how do we know this is true? You know, how do I know what you're saying is true? How do we know this is true? But just, just look at Scripture. Look at reality. For me, I look in the mirror every morning, and I know that this is, this is not true. I'm not basically good. Um, scripture tells us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It tells us that there is no one righteous. No, not one. Uh, it tells us that we're dead in our sins and trespasses. And, and even non-Christians recognize this. Um, classical philosophers like Plato, Aristotle, Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, they all, they all recognize that there's a problem. Modern authors like Robert Golding, uh, the, the Lord of the Flies, we, we read that here and we talk about how he recognizes the, the fallenness of human nature, even in children. And education, the aim of education should recognize that, that problem and, and it should aim to fix it. That's, that's the goal. Not, not ignore the problem. We believe as Christians the gospel helps offer hope to us in this area. Not in finding our own truth, but in finding the truth and conforming our lives to it. And that is really the goal of redeemed education. And thus, it's the goal of an Eastwood education, is to discover the truth and, and help children learn to conform their lives to that truth so that they can be a part of God's kingdom. So next week, we'll look at a few more examples of, of how uh, what I call redeemed education is different from what we typically think of as just Christian education, and I'm looking forward to that. Have a great week.